My name is Viviana and I'm a senior consultant here at Mayan Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking into how to manage invoices and memos in Acumatica. We'll be learning how to create an invoice, a debit memo and a credit memo. Creating invoices in Acumatica is pretty easy. We can do this in two ways. We can go to our receivables tab and under transactions, we can select invoices and memos. Or if we want our invoices to be linked to a specific sales order, we can go to sales orders and under transactions as well, we will click invoices. So for this video, we will only go to our receivables tab and again under transactions, click invoices and memos. Akimarika will open our invoices and memos window where we can see all the invoices that have been created thus far. Here we can also see our credit memos and debit memos that we have created. This will also show us uh, the status of our invoices. As you can see here, I have an open and a closed invoice. Open means that my invoice has already been released and closed means that my invoice has already been released and paid. So to create a new invoice, we will go on the toolbar and click new record. Now Acumatica will open our invoices and memos invoice window. And here we can see our summaries area where you can see our type and we can select invoice, debit memo or credit memo. We can also have the date we want this invoice to be posted, our customer information as well as our totals information. As you can see here, we can also see if we add a tax, the amount will be appearing here. And underneath our tabs, we have my document details tab where we can add all the lines of the invoice. Our financial details where here I can select if I want a specific branch to post this, this invoice. And we can also add a salesperson and our tax details. As I said, here I can add maybe a country tax and state tax. So now I will go on and select a customer. So we will select good foods. So let's imagine that we are selling good foods uh, training for five days. So here I can do again, two things in the inventory ID tab, I can click the magnifying glass and select an already created inventory item. Maybe here I have my class inventory item so I can track all the classes that I have been doing or maybe I don't want to link anything to a specific inventory item or non-stock item so I will go around here and select class and the quantity will be one class since they are telling us it will be for four days and there will be 10 people, we will, that cost will be $500. So now as you can see, my details total have been updated and this is my invoice line. So here now what I can do is click save. And if I want to add a salesperson, I can go and select it. And if I want to add a tax, I can also select it right here. So now that I have all that information, I can go on and remove the hold and release my transaction, which will be posting this invoice into the system. There's some really important information I have to say. that when we release a transaction, we can't go back and change any information. So it is really useful when we have, again, I will go back to my hold. The hold and release and remove hold buttons are really useful when we want to double check our information or if we want the invoices, the bills, the payments to go through a process of approvals. 
maybe I have an intern giving all this information into the system, but I don't want that intern to post the invoices and the payments because once they are posted, they cannot be changed or edited. So maybe I want their boss or their manager to go on and approve all this information. And we can apply that system on our approval maps, which you can see how that can be done on our YouTube channel. We have a video about that. But in this case, I will only go on and release it. But it's a good thing to know that we can select a process where we can have our workflow and have a different approvals during this so we don't make mistakes and we can do a double check. And this will relate to a later point I will make on in this video, where is the credit memos and debit memos again, because once this information is released, we can't go back and change it. So if we made a mistake or maybe in this case, which this example I will put on later, that the client is overcharged or undercharged. In this case, we'll have to go to do a credit memo or a debit memo because this invoice was already released and we can't go back and change it. So right now I will go ahead and remove my hold and release this. And now that that is when that is done, as you can see, my status now is as open and my I can't change anything. So just for the sake of it, I will show you. I cannot change my information here. It's all locked and posted. So I will go back. Now, let's imagine that Good Food, as you know in this exercise, they bought a training with us for 10 people. So in several days and they were charged $500. But at the end of the day, maybe only five people showed up and instead of the whole days that they uh, were planning to be with us, maybe there was one less day with us. And this means that we are overcharging our customer. So again, since this invoice was released, we cannot make any changes. So what we will do is go ahead again and add new record and we will create a credit memo. We are creating a debit memo since we want to decrease our customer's debt. So since at the end of the day, what they were contracting us to do resulted in a lesser amount, they have been overcharged and we have to create a credit memo. When we create a credit memo, we are doing an additional entry. This won't be linked to a specific invoice. This will only decrease the overall debt that my client has. So we can also eventually link it, but in this case, this specific entry is not affecting the invoice yet. So now I create my credit memo, which again, is a different entry. I will select my client again. My information is loaded and I will create a line. Let's... So we will add credit memo because there were less days. One and let's say it's five, 105 less dollars. So now I will click save. And what this has done once I remove hold and release is that this will decrease the overall debt that my client has to me. So now if I want to link this credit memo to a specific invoice, I will select the application staff, add new row. Here I can select my document type which will be invoice, debit memo, or overdue charge. I will select invoice. And then on the next column on reference number, I will be able to see the invoices that I have available to link this credit memo to. And as you can see here, I have the invoice that I just made for $500. I will select that. 
and I will click save. I will remove the hold and I will release it. Now, if I go to my customer details, as you can see here, customer good food, we can see all my invoices, payments, prepayments, and here we can see our credit memo that we just made. And this is decreasing my client's overall debt to 100. It's decreasing it to $150. Now let's propose a different scenario, in this case the opposite. Now let's imagine that our client, as again, they contracted us for training for 10 people. Now imagine that they turned up to be 15 people. This means we have undercharged our customer. And again, as I have repeated several times in this video, we, once our invoice is released, we cannot make any changes. So now we have to do a debit memo to increase our customer's debt. And how we will do that is the same as we did with the invoice and with the credit memo, we have to create a new entry. So we will go to add new record. In type, I will select debit memo. Again, our client, good food. We will add a new line. And let's say it's $200 more. So we will do that. Click save. And we can remove hold and post. And that will increase my customer debt overall. And we can also see this on our customer's detail. So now I am releasing and we can go to my customer details. And we will see that we have created a debit memo. As you can see, it is adding up into my customer's debt. Again, you can see my credit memo, it is decreasing and my debit memo is increasing. So again, this is because there was a situation where we had to decrease or increase our customer's debt and our invoice was already printed, released and sent and we couldn't make any changes. And this is how we do or manage our invoices and memos here in Acumatica. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.